Okay guys, so here's the thing. When you're dealing with law enforcement, you gotta film them. You cannot trust the police. The police are not your friend. This is why it's always important to film law enforcement in the United States. Always film the police. So this lady was minding her own business, just living her life. And the police pull up on her and claim that she was drunk. And then they try to try to see if they can search her car. She knows her rights, she stands her ground. She does a very good job in doing that. Consider going to Corn Season Productions. I'll put the link to it in the description. Remember, filming the police is your right. And if you don't use those rights, you lose those rights. So always film the police. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, the police are not your friend. I repeat, the police are not your friend. And this is why you shouldn't trust them. I will put the original links in the description and also check out Corn Season Productions. I'm out guys. Peace out and I will add a little additional commentary. Bye bye now. Come on. Okay, so just so you know, I'm recording this for my safety and for my lawyer. So I'm recording everything right now. Yeah, it's no problem to record us inside. Yeah, I know, I I know. Yeah. I, I know. Yeah. Yep. So I know I know that you're not willing No, I'm not. No. Nope. Yeah. Like, no, nope, no. Nope. Okay. I'm not impaired by any means. I'm going to the hospital to see my father. That's it. Okay. My eyes are clearly white. Yeah. I'm. I'm just. I'm just so on this. Yeah, I know what that, she said. I understand. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you do you do you think it's reasonable that you know someone phones us and, and that's why we're? Because I was shaking because I was so full of anxiety. So I understand. Yes. Okay. Yes. Do you do you want someone to give you a ride up there? Or? I'm fine to drive. Thank you. Oh, okay. Yep. I'm fine. Okay. Yep. Oh okay. Can Fair I have enough. my license back, please, sir? Yeah, you totally Thank you very much. Thanks. Okay, you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thanks. Good thing for cameras. I love them. Thanks. Good luck for cameras. Love oh, your sobriety. Okay, I'm recording this right now. I got pulled over for speeding, right? And I am told to roll my window down. Uh-uh. Uh, that is not the... Now, before I continue the video... Never let a car, let, never have the windows roll down and never let a cop reach into your car like that because they'll make up all sorts of probable calls to search it and never consent to the search. Law, that's not the law at all. Not the least bit. I know the law. Okay, so ma'am. You have my license, that's what you want. You pro I need to confirm your sobriety. You're pulling me over So I need because you you're saying that I did or open your 10 door. kilometers above the uh, speed limit from what you say, which I did not do. Uh, so you have my license. Give me a ticket for speeding. And uh, surname is Young, so it's... Jung. Young, so Juliet's uh, uniform, November Date of birth is 1980, Okay, well, I'm going to keep you here until no, you open your window or you uh -huh. open your door. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so stressed with my dad. I don't understand why you're not willing to roll down the window or open the door. I don't have to. It's my rights. You have my license? Give me a ticket for speeding. Fuck. 10, 10, I'm aware of crime. Like I said, I need to confirm your sobriety. That is an authority granted to me. I was not over the road or anything like that. I did so not think I, I was speeding. My odometer is not is working, number one. Or open the door. It's not working, number one. Then okay, so door. if I'm speeding, it's give me a ticket. Simple. You need no. to open the door or roll down the window. I don't have to do that, sorry, no. Yes, you do. Or no, I don't, like actually. I said, you will be obstructing me in carrying out my duties. Right, well, we'll I'm not doing anything, love. I'm not doing nothing. I wasn't even speeding. Yes, you were. If you say that, give me a ticket then. I I'm going right up the street to my dad's, the right up the road. Confirm your sobriety in order to let you continue driving. And how are you going to do that by me rolling the window down? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. How are you going to do that by me rolling the window down? Can you hear that? I can hear you fine, so you can hear me. I can tell if I can check if the vehicle smells like alcohol. I can check. If oh my alcohol. god! I just dropped somebody off. Holy shit! <laughs> Here's the thing, guys. When you're dealing with law enforcement, you gotta film them. These officers are not your friends. They're trying to ruin your life by putting you in a place that you don't want to be at. 
So this is why it's always important to film law enforcement in the United States. Always film the police. Get back to the video, guys, and enjoy. Hey, well, like I said, I have someone else coming here. This no, this is harassment, big time, big time, big time. I, I don't understand the issue here. Where were you following me from? I was watching the stop signs. And I stopped, and I stopped? You weren't at the stop sign, ma'am. I was actually at the stop sign on that corner there. Okay, I wasn't watching, I wasn't referring to that one. I was There's no other stop sign, there's only one stop sign that's around the corner there. So what stop sign did you see me at? I I didn't say that. You just said a stop sign. It's on record. You did. I was at an intersection watching for people going through the stop yeah. sign. Yeah, and I was at a stop sign. You said, first you said you seen me at one, then okay, you said you didn't. It's all on tape. It's all on tape right here. It's all recorded. Are you hearing me? I, you I said it. roll down the window or open your door. I don't have to do that. That's harassment. That's no, bullshit. That's here, illegal. really? You really want me to? Yes, there you go. You. There you go. You happy? Okay, that's all I was asking for. Okay, so I need to confirm your sobriety. Oh, this is harassment. Yeah, shine up my eyes. Of course I'm going to close them. Okay, look at me. I can't with that light. Okay, I, I want to confirm your sobriety. And in order to do that, I'd like to shine a light in your eyes to see if your pupils are... Oh, my God. ...reactive. Okay? It's oh, simple. wow. I appreciate you rolling down your window. Like, I mean, honestly, like, I don't even have to do that. Like, that's bullshit. What are you doing? What am I doing? What are you doing right now? I'm looking for a flashlight to shine in your eyes and see how it feels. And then you you tell me. How does that feel? Nice, eh? Okay. Look um, at your eyes. Look at your like eyes. I said. Your eyes are blinking. Okay. Hold oh, my God. Me. My eyes are freaking white, 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 white. White as hell. Okay, so they're clearly messing with her. So... This is why it's important to film law enforcement in the United States, always film the police. These cops are just not your friends. You can't trust them. They'll do everything in their power to ruin your life. They could have just gave her a ticket and let her go about her day. But no, nah, they continuously mess with her because they don't like that she's out there exposing their corruption. So they're trying to find every way to mess with her. And that's what they're doing here in this video. Remember, police will retaliate when you expose the corruption. They don't like that. So they're trying to get back at her by pulling her over, giving her tickets, and trying to get her out of the car. Then they're going to try to claim she was drinking, and then they're going to try to impound her car. That's just ways of them to ruin your life. Clearly, they know she's not drinking, but she's been dealing with the cops for quite some time and exposing their corruption. Therefore, she is on their radar now. So this is why it's always important to film law enforcement in the United States. Get back to the video and enjoy. Okay, guys, never. If a cops are asked for something, don't do it. So, Tammy, mm -hmm. you're going to be uh, writing you a ticket? For? For speeding. Well, uh, you can contest it in court. My partner will be here to speak with you while I do that. That's fine. You must be new, girl. Okay, so you understand? Have you had anything to drink or anything? To, no, no, no. Okay. No. Okay. I'm going to my dad's, who's terminally ill. Okay. He's just down the road here? Yes. Okay. Stockball. Okay. All right. Well, we'll just be a few. Like I, I don't understand this. Like this is harassment. There was a person in front of me that totally, totally sped. Driving by house speed what? Uh, Why are we? Uh, what mm -hmm. driving by house speed what, sir? Oh, did uh, I actually leave my wallet at the house? I don't know. Uh, so we got pulled over for what, sorry? So this vehicle's matching a description that's harassing. Can we uh, just uh, harass? Where? Whereabouts, sir? Just around the corner over here. What, what name? time was that? My name's Stephen Barrow with a V. Stephen Barrow. And what time was that, sir? That Perhaps that happened? Somebody. Yeah. And what time was that? That that happened? In what house? Sorry. 
Yeah, just around the time. I went, to, well, sorry, Steve, one sec. What time? What time? And what house, sir? No, I can't tell you what house. Well, we no, would no, like no. to know why we're being pulled over. No, 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 I just got off of work. I work at the ferries. Fair enough. So Wait, I would like to know. I do, but I left it at my house. Oh, okay. I actually just forgot my wallet at home. Okay. So what? what's your date of birth? March 22nd, 1989. Stephen Barrel? Yeah, I, I live at 5703 Trail Avenue. Okay. You guys know me. Steve, I would like to talk with him for a minute too, please. Um, so what house was this? Whereabouts was this house that was getting harassed? What, what's your date of birth again? March 22nd, 1989. Okay. So what house was this that was getting harassed? Do you, did I not tell you that I... You said one around the corner. So... E-E-R-R-A-L-L. I've never seen a vehicle matching this description, is, is ever. Glenn, is Glenn Martin still around? Glenn, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I need to talk to him, actually. Oh, okay. Got a few matters to discuss. Actually, do you have his number? Glenn? Yeah. Yeah, I can... I think you're Constable Andrew or something like that, aren't you, sir? No, Constable Edwards. Edwards. Can I get your card, please, sir? Yeah, sure, yeah. Okay. <sighs> so there's a vehicle that looks like this vehicle then? Harassing White somebody. Dogs, yeah. The same make and model, like the same year-ish? Wait, when, when did you hear about this? Yeah, when was that, sorry? Yeah, just over the last 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So over the last 24 hours, yeah. so that's kind of funny. Okay. I, I hang out at my friend Rain's house down the way there. Uh -huh. He's my good buddy, he used to live there. Okay. And I was going in another last night because I was working on my stereo, uh -huh. and we were tuning the stereo. As you can see, it's not in the, in, in the proper well, thing. Just, where so is... maybe that, that that might be something to think about, because maybe I'm just bothering people with my stereo. Oh, okay. And we're working late, because he sleeps all day. But you shouldn't get pulled over late. for working late. That's ridiculous. Well, just, That's uh, harassment. He's my buddy, and he helps me with my stereo. So it's Okay, no, but Steve, I'm night. sorry, but I get harassed sometimes, so that's why I record this for my safety and for my lawyer yeah, every no, single time. Enough. Yeah. You can, by all means, me. it's, it's not a problem to, to do that. So this happened within the last 24 hours, and we just got pulled over now. He's been driving around town all day in the tw last 24 hours, and he just gets pulled over well, now? I'm just, well, I'm just saying that it's been happening over the last 24 hours. I'm not saying that it, it happened 24 hours. So you, you guys, said within you guys are for Steve. Me, not for you. We're looking for a white Dodge pickup. White Dodge. Well, there's lots of white Dodge pickups. Well, wouldn't you have the license plate, Steve? Let me talk for a minute. Yeah. Would you not have the license plate number of the white Dodge? If somebody made a complaint, they would get the license plate number down, would they not? That doesn't always happen, though. No. Okay. Yeah. So there's another white Dodge that looks like this one in town that has been at somebody's house in the last 24 hours, and what did they do? Um, I would like to know what they did as to why we got pulled over. So what did they do at that house in the last 24 hours to give us a reason just, to get pulled over? Uh, they're just driving by constantly. Okay, so for driving by somebody's house constantly, that's a crime. What if you're doing circles and circles and circles? That's a crime? Hmm. Is it, sir? Constable Edwards? Do... I, I, I'm talking to the driver. I realize here. that, but I'm just... I'm asking you some questions, uh, please, yeah. sir. So obviously, I don't. I'm not saying that this is the vehicle, but now that I have you stopped, I want to make sure that you have a driver's license. Okay, yes, so yeah. that, that's why. Okay, yeah, no, but have, so the reason for us it's getting an you okay. the back. Yeah. So the reason for us getting pulled over is a vehicle that matched this description was driving around somebody's house a few times, and that's why we got pulled over. Yeah. Is that correct, Constable Edwards? It wasn't just a few times, so... So they drove around multiple times, so that's why we got pulled over, because a vehicle matching this description drove around multiple times in the last 24 hours, so that's why we got pulled over. That's correct? That is correct. Yeah. So are we good here? Okay. Oh, you want to check oh, the, the license? No, so the other officer's just checking to make sure the driver's license, so the, as soon as... I, actually, done, I lost my license. I had a temporary in here. I don't know if it's still... So you, do you, you do realize that you actually have to carry your driver's license? With I do, yeah, I know. Yeah. I... I I just pulled it out of my chainsaw pants, and I, I had a long day today, sorry. Okay. I just found my wallet in my chainsaw pants. It was, uh, just at work all day. Okay. All right, so obviously, yeah, you guys are good to go. We're not going to give you a ticket today for having... Um, not your driver's license on. Okay, you. thank you. But obviously, it is yeah. uh, something that you need to make sure. No, I know. I, I wish you have it. Okay. Well, I guess I better make sure when I drive my vehicle, I don't drive around the house multiple times because that gives us that gives a reason to get pulled over for driving around circles. That's a reason to get pulled over. 
There's multiple reasons to pull somebody over, but... Uh, okay, so, but you pulled us over because this vehicle matched a description you, that was driving around houses and circles. I'm just yeah, asking, sir. Yeah. I'm you just asking. Oh, okay, thank there. you, sir. I'm trying to drive around too much. Okay, guys, that's the end of the video. Like, subscribe, and share. I will do more of these type of videos, and I'll be back out there filming soon enough, too. So, all right, guys, I'm out. So here's the thing guys, you gotta film the cops. Check out Corn Season Production, I'll put the link to it in the description. We're trying to reach 10,000 subscribers. And also, go to uh, Freedom of Movement Facebook page, I'll put the link to that in the description as well. We're trying to reach 5,000 followers over there, we're trying to expand and grow man. Because you know, you know how it is, but so check those links out, I'll put them in the description. And this, I will be giving my final thoughts and commentary for this particular video. If you don't want to hear it, leave now. So here's the thing. When you're dealing with law enforcement, you got to film them. They're, they're targeting her because she exposes the corruption and she's fearless when dealing with cops. These police officers are not your friends. This is why it's important to take the time and film law enforcement in the United States. Always film the police. Anytime you're getting confronted by the police, you gotta film them. Because these guys are not your friend. They will ruin your life when they get the opportunity to do so. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm out, guys. Peace out and have a wonderful day.